More than 300 people had gathered here for prayers when a suicide bomber moved to the front and detonated explosives that he'd concealed in his vest. He brought down the walls of the mosque in a neighborhood called Police Lines, killing dozens in the blast. Many others lost their lives when the roof came down. An unknown number are still trapped in the rubble. It's the worst attack in Pakistan in months, taking place within a heavily guarded area in Peshawar. Key government ministries are located nearby. And it was also effective. The authorities say more than 170 sustained injuries. The imam started prayers and a huge blast happened, said this police officer. The roof and walls started collapsing on us. With thanks to God, I survived. Members of the police have been targeted in recent attacks, and the Pakistani Taliban has claimed responsibility. The group seek stricter enforcement of Islamic laws. The country's Prime Minister, Shabazz Sharif, seen here visiting victims of the blast, has vowed stern action. But in a country beset by a multitude of challenges, he may be unable to deliver it. John Sparks, Sky News.